Sweet November is a bittersweet love story coupled with a search for self-discovery that takes place throughout the month of November. The original movie opened back in 1968, but today the basic premise remains the same. What would happen if a complete stranger were to offer you a one-month courtship, no strings attached, and no obligations? I can help you. How does a lunatic like you help a guy like me? You live in a box. I could lift the lid, let some light in. If you want my help, it will require a commitment on your part. You have to live with me here for a month. <laughs> no more, no less, and no work allowed. You don't even know me, and you're inviting me to move in? Mm-hmm. October is almost over. We can start midnight, 1st of November. Charlize Theron and Keanu Reeves star in the remake of Sweet November. Good morning, folks. Nice to see you. Good morning. Welcome back to you, and, and nice to have you here for the first time. Is it your first time? I, I, it's my first time. He's a Today Aww. Show virgin. We'll help you out. Oh, thank okay. you. We'll be very gentle. <laughs> Did you see the original, the 1968 movie? I haven't. Have you? I, I saw maybe uh, 20 minutes of it, and um, Sandy Dennis was so good that I just had to turn it off because I got real nervous. It's intimidating when you have to try and make something yeah. like that come back to life. Because she was so brilliant in it, and I just I knew that if I watched the entire thing, I, I would be a, a complete mess making this movie. Let's talk about how these two people come together. We'll talk about the characters in a second because they're complete opposites, but let's talk about how they meet in the first place. Mm -hmm. Well, my character kind of forces it. <laughs> She, uh, she does, right? Yeah. She doesn't really give you an option. <laughs> no, no. Well, I'm trying to cheat on a DMV test, yeah. right? Yeah, yes. And uh, my character is kind of known for picking jerks and, and uh, telling them to move in. <laughs> <laughs> kind of like my life. You were going to be similar. <laughs> you were going to be gentle, remember? You were going to be easy on it. <laughs> I'm sorry, did That's I say okay. jerk? Yeah. Jerk. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, I guess, you know, in the beginning, you don't necessarily know why she's so adamant in having him say yes, and um, it's kind of the mystery of her, and I think maybe that's what intrigues him a little bit, and um, you have to go through the entire journey to kind of understand why she has this lifestyle. But Look, Let's talk a little bit about your character. He's this kind of hard-driving, work-obsessed, successful guy, not what you'd call a free spirit. No, the opposite. Because he sells it. He's, a, he's an ad guy, so he probably sells spirit. He, but he doesn't, it's not, nothing's for free for this guy. And so when this charming, attractive young lady makes this offer and says, hey, move in with me for a month, no strings attached, this is something out of his realm of experience. Yes. Good answer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, so, I'm, I'm kind of finding myself becoming yeah, right. the early Nelson Moss. I'm, I'm, I know, I'm having really like, like a, in the movie I'm having a method flash. You want to expand on that a little more? No, I'm, no, my character is completely closed off to any kind of um, intimacy or compassion. He's just a work obsessed, and uh, you know his life's in crisis, but he he doesn't know it. And uh, I guess uh, you know Charlize's character sees something that you know she feels that she can save and I think you know I don't need to be saved and then my life falls apart Sarah is the life of the party in some way she's a person whose spirit is contagious mm -hmm. likes to live for the moment the kind of person that most guys like his character and like me like we wish we could be more like so this is a case of opposites attracting yeah definitely I mean I think you have that in a lot of love stories I think um, I don't think that's unusual but I think the fact that she from day one tells him all these rules they're not necessarily rules to her but to him they're definitely rules and I think that's what uh, is different from the conventional like opposites attract chemistry so important in a movie like this without it you might as well just you know let the oh, film yeah. roll and nothing happens you two worked together before it was 1997 I think Devil's Advocate does that make the beginning few days of shooting a little bit like riding a bicycle or is it still different because it's been three four years well I've never had an easier experience so I don't know if it depends on the person but for me it was extremely easy because I think it's little things tiny little things like uh, just not necessarily working with a complete stranger um, I think helps the process which you have eventually in any movie 
but I think it takes longer. And when, you, when you've worked with the person, that process is much shorter because you know the person and you know how that person works. But is the other side of the coin possibly, Kano, that when you work with someone you've never met before and you've never worked before, everything's kind of new and exciting? Yeah, Not the, that it the, wouldn't be new and but exciting. But I said that to you, come on. I, a new and excitement all the time, baby. baby every day, <laughs> every moment. Every moment, yeah, definitely. It was a good experience for both of you. Yeah, I mean, I feel like we have a good, um, I don't know, we, we work. A good rapport, thank yes. you, yes, a good rapport. That's the word. Thank you, yes. <laughs> Well, good luck to both of you. This one is called Sweet November. It's always nice to have you here. Come Thank back you. and see us more often. Thank you. All right. We're back.